Hello and welcome. What follows are the assembly instructions for your Swift Quilter frame. And when you've finished, your Swift Quilter should look something like this. Start by laying down the grip mat and then uh, placing the frame track smooth side up on top of it. Um, and for best results, you want a nice flat table. You'll notice that one end of the frame track has two threaded inserts. This is where you attach the extension, so keep that in mind when you decide which end uh, to put that on. So now we want to attach the ends. So find the end labeled left hand and match that to the left hand sticker on the uh, track frame and screw them together with the two long screws provided and the 4mm allen key. Now just a word about the left hand and right hand ends. Uh, when the Swift quilter was first made there was only the rear handle so it's left and right as viewed from the rear. Um, and there's a lot of Swift quilters out there labelled such so it's easier just to maintain that. So repeat that for the right hand side and uh, do those screws up nice and tight and you should have something that looks a bit like this. Right now we need to attach the quilt bar holders to each end. They um, attach to the inside of the uprights in the using the um, tri knobs. There's a slot in the uprights that allows the quilt bar holders to slide up and down as the quilt grows in size on the take up roll so you can keep it at the right height for your machine. The quilt bar holder with the ratchet pulls goes on the left end. Now you can place the wheel trolley on the track and on top of the wheel trolley you put the machine base. The machine base has to be angled in because it's got a um, safety mechanism so that it can't roll right off the wheel trolley. You just have to angle that um, safety lock in underneath the bar on the wheel trolley. Um, that should be facing towards the left end. Now attach the rear handles to the machine base. They're just held on by a couple of screws, so get them nice and tight. And then you should have something that looks a bit like this, only um, without the quilt bars. You've got to put those quilt bars on after you put the machine on, it's easier that way. The Juki TL98 can now go on the machine base. Um, you need to position it so you get full movement uh, between the quilt bars. It's usually about three or four centimeters from the rear handles. And you'll notice that the, the Juki has two threaded inserts at the top on the right hand side um, or the back. This is where we're going to um, install the front handles. So line up the screws on the front handles with those threaded inserts and just do them up finger tight. That's all you need. There are two cables coming from the front handles. Um, so one with the smaller connector plugs into the TL98. That's the thread trimmer. Um, the larger connector plugs into the stipple control box and then the cable from the stipple control box plugs back into the TL98 and that's the speed control. Okay, now we can put the quilt bars on. First, put the uh, ends on the bars um, with the ratchets being on the left hand side. Um, take a good look at these photos and the manual to check that you've got the quilt bars um, rotating the correct way. And that's it, you're done. Now you may actually uh, prefer to take the machine off when you load the quilt depending on the size of the quilt but um, now that you know how to do it it's easy enough to take off and on so have fun. Thanks for watching and I hope you found these instructions useful.